Yo, what's up, Spaghetti Saucers? Welcome to Kirby Star Allies. I meant to upload a video of this yesterday, but I didn't. I, I waited till the anniversary, actually. It's, a uh, It's, a uh, the, the anniversary of this game, isn't it? I'm wasting time on the video. Yep, March 26th. Totally on purpose. Um... Third free update available. Another free update for Kirby Star Allies is here. Adventure with new dream friends and take on a challenging new mode. Australia! Gooey! Gooey Funny Moments is back. She's cool, I guess. We didn't play your game. That's my boy right there. There he is! That's the one right there. That's him. That's the that's the funny bean slash egg man. He's your ally. Or is he all lies? We didn't play your game. We didn't play your game. Why does the music just cut out? That's just awkward. More dream friends. There are now 12 dream friends. Wow, you can use them all as allies. Find them at the dream house. That's spoilers. Stop putting spoilers. Oh, a new celebration picture. There are now 15 of them. Can you collect them all? No. Alright, so let's start off the game and uh, I'll, I'll talk. There's background noise. And I'll talk over the cutscene. So this seems to be a somewhat controversial Kirby game. It seems that you either love it or hate it. Personally, I love it, mainly because of those those dream friends. Uh, I think it's a really cool mechanic. One thing I have seen, though, that I kind of agree with... The first... The, the main game itself, aside from the last world, is kind of eh. But the rest of the game is really good. And I kind of agree with that. Because I, I definitely like the last world... And all of the, like, guest star and another dimension and ultimate choice. I definitely like all that more than a lot of the main game. But I still don't think the main game is bad. Anyways, DD's getting possessed. Imagine that. There he is. That's, that's the guy. He's the guy. And he gets a pink heart because plot armor, I guess. Diggity is possessed and stealing all the food. Imagine that. Imagine DVD being possessed and stealing food. Would never happen. Alrighty. World of Peace Dreamland. That is... That is a lie. It's not a very peaceful land, I would say, but okay. Kirby inhales everything he can. Press B to inhale enemies. Alright guys, I gotta learn how to play Kirby again. You know, I've only played a couple of them on this channel. Uh, so, you know, we get... You know, we get a couple tutorials, so I, I'm sure I'll be fine, but... You know... I can hear the game. One sec. Alright, because if I can hear the game, that probably means it's echoing. Like, I can still hear the game, obviously, but if I can hear it that well... Probably meant it was echoing, so sorry for that. Let, let's go. Kirby. Alright, there we go. Now I made that mistake again. I thought Burnt Out Birds weren't in this game. I guess maybe they just don't appear in the later parts. I forgot of their existence. That's my guess. That's my guess. Heal an enemy. Dana, I didn't read all the tip. Darn it, oh, this is, this is awkward, um, yeah, so, um, this isn't gonna be a Nuzlocke thing, like Superstar Ultra was, but still, um, Poppy Bro, uh, oh, that's what it has, Poppy Bro and Kirby have the same face, um, yeah, uh, Poppy Bro, uh, I'm sorry for that, but, 
I'm sorry for this, but you're dead. You are dead in Mr. Goom's cannon, so you can't even just... Sorry. I gotta keep up with Mr. Goom's lore. It's very intense in any plot holes that happen. I mean, like, what am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? The Mr. Goom's plot gets too complicated. Anyways, uh... I'm gonna have to build, like, the Avengers in this game. Um... And yes, you can... Kissing your friends is back. Um... I'm gonna have to build, like, the Avengers of this game. And, like, none of the characters I actually want we have access to. <laughs> so... I'm just gonna have randos for, like, the first, like, world, I guess. I guess it's only the first world. Make a friend and then press up. True. So this is something that returns from Squeak Squad, mostly, but also the other Dark Matter games. You can combine abilities. Um, it's a lot more like Squeak Squad. It's kind of like in the middle of Squeak Squad and, uh... I wouldn't say it's on the same level as 64. You know what I mean. Because a lot of it is just like what Squeak Squad did. You can add this element to this ability. Um, but. Yeah. Uh, but it's not like. There are some, like, ice and rock still gets you that, like, curling thing. The curling thing. I think that's... I think I've been explaining it for a while. Actually, we're gonna beat some of that one He just becomes a new person. Oh yeah, one thing. I guess with Chili I can talk about this. One thing I do not like about this game is uh, when you make a buddy, also buddy return, buddies return from a uh, superstar, which I really like. One thing I do not like though is how they give hats. They give the hats to the buddies. Because like, look at Chili. Why does he need the ice hat? It, it, it kind of like I like the little like bucket hat he has normally, and like why does Sir Kibble need the cutter hat? He already has the cutter. And, but Poppy Girl especially, you probably saw that earlier. I do not like the the modern bomb hat. I I like the little Santa hat thing that it used to have, and I don't know why they changed it. It probably looked too similar to Sword, but also Mirror and Beam still are allowed to look the same. I don't know. Also, for some reason, Leo... Like, Leo still has Burning Leo hair. Also, Burning Leo's back. That's neat, I guess. I think we're gonna use the text to your weapon. Okay. So, so we got a decent squad here. All of them will be replaced by the end of this episode, but you know, we got we got a squad. Burning Leo, Chili, and Sir Kibble. Name a better name a better what Quadro, I think is a group of four. Water returns in this game. It technically returned in Robobot. Cause uh there's an ability called poison in Robobot, it, it's literally just water. But worse. It. It, it, it quite literally was just water. So technically water made a return in Robobot, they just they just made it back fully as water. They also brought back plasma for some reason. I, I thought spark and plasma being combined was pretty good, but plasma's its own thing now again. We'll, we'll get to that. I don't think we can actually get plasma until like the final level of one. Am 
Maybe we won't get to that. Cool thing, chili. Well, I'll take the ice sword. Man. I'll start skipping these cutscenes in the future, but. I thought Kirby had Galaxia for a second. Like an ice Galaxia, that would have been cool. Use copy yes. Why'd you have to use that? Why'd you have to use that? That friend to. Guys, just don't look. Um, hi, Leo. Just don't look, guys. Eh. He's gone. We have to move on. I don't know why I'm using the rock for everything. The rock. This return, and I also skip the That's this is gonna become the new uh the new lab cutscene in Luigi's Mansion 3. You never get to see it. Friend abilities for stone. That's awesome. Also, uh, the game over screen in this game. You may have noticed I'm on the second world and have 14 lives. Um, fun fact about this game, the, the game over screen is counted as an easter egg, so... I mean... I don't really like live systems, cause like... They, they really only existed because... You know, arcade games, they need your quarters, but there's no real reason to have those. Anymore. So I kind of like that newer games are just ditching lives. But I, I feel like I'd rather just, like, not have lives than, uh... I'd rather you just not have lives than just give you 200. Like, we will be over 200 in lives by the end of this game. I can guarantee that. The thing. The thing. The, the, my favorite Kirby collectible things. Uh oh. I feel like hitting this Nintendo Switch though. Dream Palace opened. You press the big switch that opens the Dream Palace to the world map. You're a world map. Uh, just, just, wow. Get items from pop flowers. True. That is. Uh, that, that had some, uh, some dark tone to it. Killing a poppy bro with a rock. Oh. Outside, like, a, like a, oh, my. outside, like a huge branch off of a tree just fell off. Just randomly. Squirrels are, are getting more powerful than we could ever imagine. Here it comes, here comes the best part of the game. Meet legendary characters, the dream palace is now unlocked. Awesome. Alright, so like I said, this is my my favorite part of the game. Because as you saw, everyone is here. Welcome to Dream Palace. Dream Palace, you can meet a dream character here if you use the dream rod. 
When you grab the dream rod, a roulette will start. Press A to call dream friends. So, this is my favorite part of the game, like I mentioned. Because look at all the characters that are back. Well, luck more as we beat bosses. Now, is do I only like this because of nostalgia blindness? Yes. But also, keep in mind, I am a Mario fan. And you know what happens in Mario? In Mario, you get the best designed character that you'll ever see. And then, by the next game, gone. We don't need him. Doesn't even get a mention. <laughs> Anyways, uh... You're lucky you're a good partner. Get away from me. Oh, you're making me get rid of rock so I can give you an ability, huh, Marks? Classic Marks. The ultimate way. Well, I, I'm just gonna bring Marks so I can bully him the whole game. Why, why does he have to be the one by me? I can't wait till I get suplex. Or I think fighter can do it too. Oh, we have water too. Oh, wait, that's not water. That's ice. Everyone is ice. Why? I think that was Marks that did that. Alright. We need fire. We need fire. Look at him just stare at me. With those big old eyes. Stop staring at me with them big ol' eyes. Throw yo-yo at you. When it's game over, I don't think I have to worry about that game. I mean, thanks for your concern, but, uh, I think I'm good. I don't have a problem with these games, anymore. it's just... It's just kind of strange. Don't pull Marks with me. Don't pull me with him. Okay, thank you. I would not be surprised if I get crushed right about now. Oh, he, he's too busy opening up. He, he's too busy tearing the fabric of space and time. Of course. I knew that Marks would spend too much time with Dementio. It, it's only natural. They're both jesters. They're both purple. Dementio, Marks, and Jevil. The ultimate team. I, uh... Remember how I, a couple times I've mentioned... Hey, what if I made a game? And, like... I think it was the last episode of Squeeze Squad. I mentioned I designed characters. And there is a gesture character. Therefore, he, he's also in there. But he's not purple. Though. Oh yeah, he is. When you forget your own character design, imagine that. He's not like a chaotic evil gesture. Though. So he wouldn't fit with this this beast right here. This demon. Mark, that's not gonna work. Imagine thinking that you can tear the fabric of space and time to destroy a Waddle Dee. Would never work. Right. How will Marks bully me here? Get away from me. No! I don't remember what 
what this is. Also, you may have noticed, I, I am gonna go for 100% because it's not very hard in this game. Uh, you may have noticed our collectibles for this game are switches and puzzle pieces. I'm not gonna go for, for like full 100% because that would require me to, uh, that would require me to get like, Magalore. That would require me to fill out all the puzzle pieces, get all 120 hearts, beat every, beat guest star with every character, which Despite how many times I've played guest star mode, uh, I have still not done that on my first file. Beat the ultimate choice, hardest difficulties, with every character. So I won't be going for like full 100%, but I will be like, what when it says 100% on the file, which I, I should just get from naturally playing the game, because like I said, it's not too difficult. One, one, uh, thing does require you to, uh, thank you, Blake Knight. One thing does require you to basically 100% one of the modes. Uh, there's a mode where, uh, you have to collect one, there's 120 collectibles, and you have to get 100 out of them. And there's four levels with 30 hearts, so you basically have to get all of them. You can only miss 20. So you basically have to 100% three of the levels and get most of them in another level. So, yeah. Also, it's a good thing whoever I replaced for Marks was uh, the second player, because now Marks is farthest away from me during the celebration. And Marks is about to destroy Blade Knight. I don't like the hexagons. Hexagons are the strongest force in Kirby. Notice how every Kirby, like, super boss has hexagons for flooring. Yeah. So we could, we could go fight Wispy. Or, we go to Extra Claire. But first, I think it's time for some funny moments. You know? No! I don't want to go back here with Marks. I I'll gladly go back to the level, but with Marks? No. Not when he's here. He's mean. Like, see, Ma Magalore is awesome. Because when Magalore betrays Kirby, he just does it. He, he, he just does it. He just does it because it's a little trolling. And therefore, it's funny. But Marks did it just because power. Imagine thinking power is everything. Alright, let's get... I almost missed him. It's time for some funny moments, gamers. Uh, Leo. Leo or Blade Knight? Blade Knight. I'm sorry, Leo. Wait, Gooey has fire, so that was a mistake. Dang it. I'm sorry, Blade Knight. <laughs> this is the second time he's died. Also, I just realized I wasn't supposed to be able to use Blade Knight. Oops. It's Blade Knight, Rocky, and Poppy Bro that I can't use. Or Birdon. I think Birdon died as well. Oh, you know who I can use, though? Biospark. He's a gamer. Uh, let, let's go. Uh, he, he has to earn it. He has to earn fire. You know, there's a uh, there's a Kirby Valentine's card with with Biospark.png, and he has marks, and he has the the fire sword. You set my heart on fire. See the tone of it. it it's what matters. See, you set my heart on fire. You set my heart on fire. Like that. Uh, like that's cringe. I'm sorry. You know, it's the important- like, let's eat grandpa, let's eat grandpa. It all matters in the tone. I don't know what it was, because I'm a gamer. But yeah, Biospark, you have to- <laughs> you have to earn the right to use the fire sword. It's not something that can just come naturally to you. 
I don't know what he'll do to earn it. Well, he's the only one that can cut things, I think. Awesome. He cut the grass. He touched grass. Good for him. Here. He found the secret. He's earned it. Give him the fire, Gooey. Gooey, give, give fire. Not water. Give fire. Good job, Gooey. He, he earned the right to fire. He's a firebender now. He did it. Biospark is such an awesome guy. Eh, Biospark, can we trade? Look at him, look at him smile. Why did I, why did I have him? Why did I keep him? I was gonna make fun of him, that's why. I kept him so I could make fun of him, but he, he, I, I didn't. Stupid Waddle B. Thank you, guys, for Oh, well, look, Mar Marks is even the farthest. Five Park and Gooey saved me. Thank you, gamers. We did it. We got. We got a. I almost said a treasure. This isn't. Oh, I, I, it wasn't a treasure chest, actually. Why isn't Mark's trying to, uh, to do the thing? I saved them. I entered the door before they died. Yeah, I, I still don't think I need to know about Game Over's game. Still, I appreciate your concern, but I'm at 18 and we are on, like, what, the third level? A new ability. Hammer! Yeah! Finally, hammer. Oh, I'll take you. Here's the new ability. What is Marks doing? He's just done a balancing act over there. Not being helpful at all. I don't know, I kind of like Biospark, actually. He's been pretty helpful. I mean, I like Hammer and all, but like... Biospark has kind of proved himself as a hero. No! The worst fate. Kissing marks. And now he's, and now he's right next to me. He's farther away from me now. <laughs> Gooey is protecting me. I don't know, but who's gonna attack Gooey? Adeline be in the game. 
but you know, it's a cool ability. You can, you can do this. Hold on. Kirby playing with his good pal Bone Leo. Look, the fridge. The ultimate power. I forgot that it was the fridge. I don't trust Mark's reset platform. Turn your friends into copy essence. Wow. So show off the epic. So we step here. Wait until Wispy gets on screen. I have to backtrack for the whole level. Why does Marx always just fly right towards me? He knows what he's doing. This is a sentient AI. Pretty useful looking move. If only you used it. You stupid communist grape. I hate you. No! He chases you down! I thought I was about to say fire marks so that I could make a funny. They didn't know I gave marks fire. <laughs> the world is doomed. There's King Ollie over here, by the way. That's <laughs> why so I keep looking to the right. Like, it, it's Chef Kawasaki. Ah, I'm sorry. I, I have to have Chef Kawasaki. Kawasaki's probably gonna be part of the, uh, the squad. By the end of the game. I think it's probably gonna be Kirby, obviously. Maglor, DeRoach, Kawasaki. I feel like that's what the, that was what the team would be. It'll definitely have Maglor and Kawasaki. Or it'll definitely have Maglor. I can't really- he waves. I can't guarantee Kawasaki, but yeah, I feel like it'll be Magor for sure on there somewhere. Anyways, this is an ability we're not supposed to know about, but it's also a cool secret, so... Hi, Wispy. Imagine Wispy being the first boss. Guardian of the Forest. Oh wait, lore. Wispy's familiar foe, Wispy, is back. Bright-eyed, bushy head, and dropping more apples that should even be possible. Use your friend abilities with uh, to cut him down to size. Unfortunately, uh, unfortunately, right, there is another alternate ending to Wispy. Wispy has multiple endings, and, uh, yeah, I, I'll, I might be able to show off the other ending eventually. You can also throw a friend dart at him, and he'll give you food right before you fight the next boss. That was that was sick. I hope that that came up on camera. It was sick. Here I go, acidic. 
feel that acid in your veins, then burn up in the flames. I really should remake that. Clash at Castle DDD. And I think this has broken the streak of, uh... Oh, wait, no. It wouldn't. It's just that more recent games have. And Squeeze Squad and, uh... And Squeeze Squad and Mass Attack, I think. Uh, he had... I'm only giving this to you because it's your best ability. Um... Squeeze Squad... And Mass Attack, he had his hand Hey, Marcus. Hey, Marks. What are you going to do? What are you going to do, you stupid waddle -doos? You are facing a powerful opponent today. He knows what'll happen. No, Gooey! Marks. It's not as funny if it doesn't play the cutscene. This game has a really good DDD battle theme. No, Kawasaki, I'm sorry. Hey, Marks. Come here. No! He touched me. No, now he's just killing everything on screen! I, I've made him more powerful. What have I done? I've created a monster. This is thunder move so that you can do the, this move, Marks. This move, because it's really powerful, but you won't use it. You won't use it when I give you the elemental powers that are meant to make you actually useful to me. Marks! Plasma can shoot up now. Cool. Also, yeah, plasma instead of spark for some reason. I, I still don't get that, but oh well. This video is longer than normal, but I, I did say I wanted to kind of go on to the longer videos, I guess. You gamers ready? Go with fire. 
Hammer is very small. I don't know why his hammer is so small. That's another weird part of DVD in this game. I already mentioned in another video that he's always just standing really high up and staring. Okay, ready? Here it comes. So I, I don't know if that was intentional, but the uh, the music lined up with his uh, arms going, his arms going, you know. Oh yeah, you can uh, you can get rid of the you can clean the food by with water. I do actually now that I think about it. I might just have a new team for every episode. And then like when we get to the final world, that's when I'll make the, the squad. Just kidding. <laughs> you thought I forgot about that plot point? We gotta erase him from the timeline. Why is Marks by me? All, literally throughout this whole game, Marks. And now you're blocking Kawasaki! Throughout this, oh, this whole episode, Marks has been in the back, farthest away from me. Anyways, that was Kirby Star Allies. Uh, hope you enjoyed. Like I said, the, the last part of the game is pretty good, but, you know, it's kind of lacking throughout the whole thing. Just kidding. King Ollie. <laughs> he was, he's the newest addition to the Dream Friend lineup. We gotta follow the Dark Hearts. Kingdom Hearts. <laughs> we killed him. And... <laughs> yep. Dream friend King DDD. You can now call on a dream friend King DDD to head into a dream palace. New dream friends, your dream came true. You can now call a dream friends Adeline, Ribbon, Dark Mennonite, and the Roach. They'll definitely be part of the team next episode. Speaking of next episode, this has been really long, so I will see you next time. Bye.